Uber, Airbnb, Microsoft, and Instagram. All four of these companies are very different from one another, but all four of these companies were started during a recession. The founder of these companies was not scared that the economy is down. The founder of these companies felt that there was a great opportunity that needed to be met, and they used it as an opportunity to start one of the largest companies in the world. The reason why you see so many good companies start during recessions is because it's harder to start a company during a recession, because if you have a company idea, it's gonna be harder for you to go out and raise money. Banks are less likely to loan out money and investors are less likely to invest money because everything is scary at that time. So now you have to be more creative. You have to be more efficient and you have to be more productive to create a company that's worth getting money and you have to be better as an entrepreneur to create a business that can create revenue. Because if you can build a business that can start making money during a recession, well then that business can make a whole lot more money when the economy is booming. And so not only do you get to ride the wave of your company up, but then you get boosted with the economy growing as well, which creates a double win for the company. So if you have an opportunity, if you have an idea, and you are an entrepreneur, well, there's no better time to start a company than now. That's why you see so many companies that were created during boom times go bankrupt or go bust when things go wrong because they have that too much money disease. They've always been around easy access to capital, easy access to cash. Banks are very willing to give them money. Investors are very willing to give them money and they never had to experience a financial crunch. And then when the economy slows down and that money dries up, well, now they face the pinch. They don't know how to raise more money. They don't know how to be more productive. They don't know how to churn a profit. And then either they have to get acquired or they go bankrupt and they go bust. That's why it pays to understand how to be creative and efficient as an entrepreneur. And a recession forces you to do that because you have no other option. Plus the added benefit that I was telling you is when you go through an economic downturn, well, it's much easier to find smart talent and get them at a discount because layoffs are happening everywhere. When you see the smart companies laying off the smartest employees, well, now this creates an opportunity for you to come in and snag some of these employees at a discounted price because people are looking for jobs. When people are more desperate for jobs, you're able to get them at a discounted price. And if you're starting a business, you don't have all the money in the world to pay top dollar for everybody but it creates an opportunity now for you to come in and get good employees at a discounted price. And then as the economy grows and as your company grows, then you can adjust their wages, you can adjust their salaries to meet market demand. We have seen recessions happen for centuries now. We've seen booms and busts happen for centuries now. And what we've seen happen each and every time is things get bad and then they get better. Now, if you do get stressed, turn off the media. Listen, the media is in the business of selling hype and their only concern is not your mental health, it's not your investment portfolio, it's getting clicks. And so if you want to tune out the noise, just turn off the financial media. Okay, market briefs, that's one of the reasons I create market briefs, is to get rid of all that sensationalism is because it's one newsletter that explains everything going on in the markets without all that noise. So it's super simple to read. And if you open up the email, you see all the news. If you don't open the email, you don't see the news. So it's very simple in that sense. But you have to stay calm because nobody makes a smart financial decision when they're stressed and when they're panicking. This is where you have to stay calm, remember to take a breath, and remember that things will get better. You're gonna see a lot of people talking about how the world is ending, nothing will ever get better. That happens every time you go through a recession. But this is where you have to be a little bit smart, stay calm, and remember that things will pass, things will get better. And even if nobody's ever talking about that, even if everything looks like it's going wrong, just remember that sometimes Things are never as bad as the media makes it seems, just like how things are never as good as the media makes it seems. So this is where you have to be able to draw your own conclusions, stay calm, and remember that things will pass. And if you ever get scared or confused, just look at a historical chart of the stock market or the real estate market. And what you'll see is even if you bought at the worst time ever over the last hundred years, if you bought at the worst time right before a crash, well, if you just held on, Many times you ended up making even more money if you just held on for the long term. So this is where you have to understand what's a good investment and what's a bad investment. Don't make investment decisions out of fear. Don't make investment decisions when you're panicking. Have a calm mind and make investment decisions on a calm investment strategy basis. It's okay if you have to sell because things are going wrong, but don't do it because you're panicking and fearing. 
do it because that's the right financial decision. If you enjoyed this short clip from my longer videos, here's another clip that I think you'll love and while you're at it, if you're interested in learning more about how to start generating passive income, our team put together an amazing guide on how to start generating passive income for free. All you gotta do is click that button right over there. Thank you for watching and as always, keep hustling. <laughs>